Hello and welcome. In this problem, we're looking at the additive inverse of the expression a minus b. Let's talk about that. Well, additive inverse, what is that referring to? What is the additive inverse, right? Well, the additive inverse tells us that in general, if we have two numbers, let's say x, that's my x, plus negative x, that the sum would be zero. These two numbers are additive inverses of each other, and this is the additive inverse property because we get a sum of zero. This is, it must happen. If two numbers are additive inverses or opposites of each other, the sum must be zero. So with that being said, let's say x is our expression, a minus b. So we have to add a minus b to, to its opposite and get a result of zero. So what do we have to add to a minus b to get zero? Well, the opposite of a is negative a, and the opposite of negative b is positive b, right? So I can add these two now, a minus b plus negative a plus b, and I should get zero. Let's test that. So first of all, I'm just adding all these things, right? So I don't need the parentheses. I can just group them all together, put them in one large group. So a minus b plus negative a, that's the same as minus a, and plus b is just plus b. Right, plus a plus b is plus b. And then I can use the commutative property to reorder. So we have a minus a, and then negative b plus b. Right? So I can now regroup using the associative property. So here I'm going to write plus the sum of these two right here. If you think about it, negative b um, plus b, right? Whatever that is, we're adding it to our original term to see what's happening here. So a minus a is 0 negative b plus b is 0, and 0 plus 0 is 0. This works. So the, the opposite or additive inverse of a minus b is negative a plus b. Let's see if they have that. There it is, choice 3. All right, hope this helped.